Hey everybody, it's Big E again. I'm going to do a quick wristwatch check. This is my Steinhardt uh, Ocean 1 Vintage Red. Um, this is a different video today. This is about where I go and five essential websites that everybody should know and have in their um, in their computer for a uh, quick reference. So you should have all this stuff bookmarked. Uh, if you're um, in the watches like most of us who watch these videos are. The first one is going to be Watchbase. Now Watchbase is the complete online watch database. Now one of the things I use that for is to help authenticate watches and look at them and see what kind of specs they have. Now this is my Mito uh, Ocean One Titanium. So for instance I go to Watchbase then I go to M and I pull up Mito right over here on the right and it says Ocean Star so I click on that and that's not going to be all the Mitos but this, this is going to be more of the popular watches so I click on Ocean Star and it should pull up all the Ocean Star models and it does and then I pick out my watch which is the Ocean Star Titanium with the gray bracelet now what's cool about this it pulls up a picture of the watch as you can see and you can compare the watch and you can look at the bezel make sure it's right make sure the font is right the date wheel is right the bracelets right and then if you go over here you can look at some of the things that make uh, the watch special and you can use it to reference if a watch is authentic or not things of that nature so this is titanium, has a 60 click uh, dive bezel rotating sapphire glass. So if you test a watch that doesn't have sapphire glass, you know that watch is probably either fake or has been replaced with a mineral crystal. It tells you the diameter, 42.5 millimeters, uh, the height, 11.5, the lug width, 22 mil. So if you need to get a, a strap or something for it, you would know what size uh, lug opening. Then if you scroll down a little bit more, it'll show you the movement, automatic, ETA, the caliber, the base caliber, analog, the diameter, the jewel count, power reserve, frequency. This is all very essential if you're going to be uh, doing research on watches or if you just want to look around and you know and have fun and you enjoy that type of reading. My second and I'll put links up to all these uh, pages too, um, so you can reference them quick and put them in your uh, in your library. The next one is going to be one of my favorites. This is Oceanic Time. Now this is a blog, and it's a very an informative blog, and it has uh, a section with uh, archives. Then if you scroll down on the right hand side has all the different manufacturers right here so you have your manufacturers uh, if you scroll down some more your artistin brands you have your boutique brands you have your uh, British brands custom brands French brands German brands uh, Italian brands Japanese North America and so on uh, military type uh, brands Russian Southeast Asia uh, Swiss brands and it's going to be really good if you want to just have good reading or if you want to go directly to that watch site uh, so how it would work is you click on say deep, deep blue you're looking for a deep blue watch you double click on that and it should take you to the uh, deep blue uh, website and that's how it works it, it has direct links to all of the uh, websites now, you also have on there different articles and readings about uh, different kind of watches. And you can see it was linking to the Deep Blue website. But I'm going to go back because I want to show you something real quick. Uh, if you go up over here to the left, you have all the um, SIHH shows from uh, 2019, Spa Shots, uh, Video Lounge, Pictorials. Uh, giveaways, galleries, uh, Basil Real, and it's just a really good reading and it's a really good put together blog and that's called um, 
Oceanic Time. I'm sure you're going to really enjoy this one. Okay, that was Oceanic Time. That was one of my uh, favorite bo uh, blogs. Now, one of the uh, next one's going to be uh, Caliper Corner. Caliper Corner is a is a really good uh, one to have because on Caliper Corner it tells you about the inside, the guts of the watch. The caliber is what powers the watch, uh, which is the same thing as saying what movements in there. You have your quartz movements, your mechanical movements, and um, your automatic movements. Uh, it goes into guides down here. So like a Rolex Paraflex, it'll tell you exactly uh, what that uh, anti-shock system's about. And it's a bunch of different articles. But what's cool about this is if you have a caliber and you need to get it serviced or something, you can look at it to see if it's similar or in the same family of another caliber that you may need parts for or old watch. And it's just a good uh, website to have quick access to um, so you can look at what calibers you have on your watch. Uh, in your inside your watch. The next one, one is one of my favorites. It's gonna it's called Timeline Watch. Now Timeline Watch is basically just what it says. If you look up here, it has a timeline of watches. Now if you have a watch and everybody has this a watch they can't identify or they can't find it on the internet. They found an old watch from their from their grandpa or something uh, or a family member and they want to identify it you can go to timeline and kind of see what error the watch was kind of made. So if you want to go to look at a vintage watch, and it starts from 2000 and it goes down to 1900. That's the timeline. So if you want to look at 70s watches, you just click on 1970, and then it'll bring up the meter up to 1970, and then it'll start showing you uh, stuff in, in that era. So let's go to... Uh, uh, this one right here is, let's see, Breitling uh, Cosmonaut Chronomatic, 1970 24-hour dial, and it'll bring up an article, and it'll show you the watch, and 1973 third generation Breitling Chronomatic, 1809 24-hour dial, when watches had slowly started to grow a bit, Breitling launched a bold watch, uh, a bold line of gutsy and unique designs with a diameter of 47 millimeters. So you can look at the old watches, and you can also reference what a watch is supposed to look like uh, sometimes too. So you can go down the bottom: all Breitlings, Chronomatic, Cosmonauts, Pilot watches, 24-hour dials, and it's just a great website to go on, spend time with. And basically just get lost in watches. And, and that one's called Timeline. Now the next one, um, and the last one is going to be uh, one of my favorites. This was Montre uh, Watch Portal, Montre 24. I don't know if I'm saying that uh, right or not. If you go on this one, it's like an online watch magazine. Now you have all different kind of brands. And that's in the watch directory. Now if you go on the watch directory it'll go over to the brands and you got basically hundreds of brands this is just like 50 brands all that starts with A then you can go to B and this is just not your normal watches this has a lot of uh, small watch companies and a lot of defunct watch companies but you might have a watch that's older or you want to look into it or see something about it and and it's just a good website to have at a quick access so you can find a watch or find information about a brand that and discover new brands that you may have never uh, saw before so let's go on Benoris uh, click on that one let's see what that one's about okay Benoris and then it'll bring up pictures and a history and it'll also give you examples of it uh, the German uh, watch company was established by Ralf, Ralf Schindler in Munich, Germany. The founder has collected timepieces for a long time. He adopted his passions to gather watches from his father, who was an invert 
a collector over 30 years. He created the brand producing watches for lovers of extreme sports. Now that just starts telling you about Menards. And then you can scroll down and it'll show you different stuff. And it's just a snapshot into each and every, uh, just about each and every company. And this is one of the most thorough databases about watches that I've ever been on. Then you can click on Watch Magazine, when that's like a free watch magazine. You can go on there, you can read stuff about celebrities. Here's Sylvester Stallone, his watches, Leonardo DiCaprio, Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is a timeline for Arnold, for Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and his watches. So you click on that, and it'll bring up an ad just about Arnold Schwarzenegger and his watches. This is a great way to pass time, a great way to get involved in uh, in watches and to get more education about watches so these are probably my five favorite sites to go on I spend hours and hours on them and before I make any video I always go to all five of these um, uh, sites to gather as much information I can about uh, the watches so at least I'll somewhat know you know what I'm talking about when I'm actually looking at a watch or interviewing um, a, a watch or reviewing a watch. I'm sorry, excuse me, reviewing a watch. So that's what I'll do. That's how I get my research. These are five of my favorite sites. I go on other sites, but then that would make this video miles, miles long. I'll post some more sites up later, but I'll leave a link to all these sites. And um, I hope you enjoy them, and I hope you guys uh, learn something. So God bless you guys, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. My name is Biggie, and I'm out. Peace.